All right, so uh, picked out a problem from the book, uh, and uh, we're just going to uh, start solving it. So this is a problem uh, from the section on civil and environmental engineering. Uh, so it's giving us a problem uh, uh, with uh, 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 the equation for a standing wave, right? So it says, in ocean engineering, the uh, equation for a reflected standing wave in a harbor is given by lambda equals 16, t equals 12, v equals 48, h equals h naught sine of 2 pi x over lambda uh, times the cosine of 2 pi t v over lambda plus e to the minus x. Solve for the lowest positive value of x if h equals 0 0.4 h naught. Uh, so it looks like to start out with, we're going to have to do a little bit, math, bit of math. Let's just sub in uh, 0 0.4 h naught in for h. So let's. Uh, probably not a good idea to use the same color. So let's go, instead of h, we go uh, 0 0.4 h naught. And so it uh, looks like this h naughts are going to be able to cancel. And so then we're going to have 0 equals um, sine 2 pi x over lambda cosine 2 pi t v over lambda uh, plus e to the minus x and then we got to bring this 0 0.4 to the other side minus 0 0.4 alright so solve for the lowest positive value of x so if we say instead of saying uh, that this is equal to 0 well I mean it, it is equal to 0 so when this is equal to 0 well, then we've satisfied it and uh, we have to say then f of x is equal to 0 which is equal uh, to all of this and so uh, now we just need to to plot this out and to do that uh, I mean I don't know I think the easiest way to get started would be to to plot it out so we're gonna switch over to MATLAB and uh, there we have it uh, so we're gonna create a new function to to evaluate so we're gonna say edit f dot m so get this new function f uh, and so here we go Func function f equals uh, function y equals f of x okay and then we just say uh, y equals uh, and then we just start writing writing in our equation so that's going to be the sine of 2 times pi times x over lambda um, times the cosine of 2 times pi times t times v over lambda plus e uh, to the x minus x and then we're going to go minus uh, 0 0.4 and so that should be our equation and uh, yeah we've got the whole thing on there uh, except we're gonna need to declare a few constants here we're gonna say that lambda equals 16 t equals 12 and v equals 48 okay so uh, just like I said in the problem statement and uh, now, like I said, I think this is the easiest way to get to get started uh, is just to start plotting it out and see see what we come up with. And so then we're gonna say uh, x is let's say so uh, x x is um, it said positive value for x, and so um, let's uh, we can start at zero. And let's go to, I don't know, to start out with, let's go to 10. Just sort of see what happens. And then we're going to say plot x and f of x. And let's just look at that. Okay. So here's what that plot looks like. We can 
make it a little bigger for the screen here. All right, so uh, that looks pretty good. It looks like let's let's draw the zero line on there. So hold on, plot um, x uh, zero uh, zero times x, uh, and let's do that in red. Okay, so this is what that looks like, and so it looks like. Um, and so these are values of x here, and, and it said they had to be positive, so so uh, nothing, it wouldn't make sense to plot it anything uh, smaller than zero, and so this is the first time that it crosses the axis because we have to, that equation has to hold, the equation has to be true, and so it looks like that we're, uh, you know, just using the graphical approach here somewhere close to seven, um, but let's go ahead and and turn the grid on so we can look a little bit closer here. Okay. So um, really, just just using the graphical approach, even though uh, it's imprecise, it looks like we're coming right into maybe. Let's just pick a value here. Nine point or six point nine five. Four seven. So, switching over here to our problem, I'm going to say uh, six. Let's make it an answer color, a different color here. So we say um, then x equals six point nine five four seven. Is that right? 6.9547 and uh, that's it 6.9547 and well that's yeah that's our answer and we have this really nice plot to go with it and um, uh, we, we could have used one of the uh, the um, root finding approaches the uh, non graphical approaches uh, if we wanted to uh, but uh, I think for, for now that, that gets us started.